Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. It's been a bit, I've been busy, but this week is spring break. Starting so, starting this weekend, I'm on spring break and I have a little bit more time on my hands. So, I'm going to do a shave today that's, that's well, it's going to maybe take a little more time because I'm going to be using a chivette, um, which I don't do often, use a straight razor, but... I really like doing it and I want to get better at it. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be using a, uh, a special soap today. It's from Lotus Eater Soap Company. It's Tiger Tail. Not focusing. Can't tell if that's focusing or not. Or if it's just my eyes. Anyway, um, the reason this is special is because this was an exclusive soap made for me because I'd talked to the soap maker about this. Um, not actually meaning for him to make it. It was actually before, it was Jacob Hepworth, he is the one who makes these Lotus Eater soaps, him and his wife, and um, I mentioned, you know, that I think it would be a good scent, this is before he even started making soaps, and when he started making soaps, he remembered that, and he, he made me one, so this is a Tiger's Tail, and I'll get into, you know, the scents and stuff in a minute. The other thing that I'm going to be using is a brush handle that I've had for a while, but I've actually re-knotted it. Um, that's this beautiful brush right here, and man, it is. It's it's beautiful. Hold on. Okay, I'm just making sure. And I just put this Timberwolf knot from uh, Maggard's, and this is my turn and shave brush from Milton. Is that right side up? I think so. So beautiful, beautiful handle. Let me kind of give you. A, a little more of an idea of hopefully that's coming through it's just it's beautiful in person it's just it's awesome so we're gonna use the turn and shave brush the lotus eater soap and the shave it so give me a second I gotta just check something real quick okay sorry about that just wanted to make sure um, it didn't look from my perspective like it was recording very well so all right so I'm gonna wipe my face I'm going to take my brush dip it I don't, haven't done this much, but I'm going to do it today. I'm going to load on the puck, and I'm going to do a face lather. So, get the brush wet, shake a lot of the water out, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that will be plenty. Um, I don't think you need to, I know with others, I had to load up for quite a bit, but I'm not doing my goatee area, and this stuff lathers like a monster, so, I think that will do just fine, so that's all that really shows on the brush. Okay, now let's talk about this soap, so this soap, it's called Tiger Tail, so some of you may be familiar with this. I know we don't have it much anyway here in the US, but Tiger Tail is a ice cream flavor. They had, I had it up in Canada. They may have it elsewhere in the world. Um, if you are elsewhere in the world and you have it, let me know down in the comments. But uh, <laughs> I remember, it was one of those things. I'm a sucker. I talked about this the other day, I think, in my shave. And I am a sucker for that style of advertising where I see something all the time and I'll think, like Tiger Tail ice cream. For those of you who do not know what it is, it's orange ice cream with black licorice swirled into it. <laughs> um, and I saw it and I thought, that sounds terrible. I've got to try it. <laughs> um... And I actually quite liked it. Now, I do like black licorice. So, there's that. It's not like I hate black licorice and I love this ice cream, right? But, um, anyway, I do know people who, let's try it this way. I do know people who don't really necessarily like black licorice who like tiger tail ice cream too so oh 
all that. Now this is where I usually stop. It's pretty thick still. Since I'm using a chivet, I'm going to add a little more water. Anyway, I had that up in Canada. Really liked it. Thought it would make it good. I actually approached um, Ron at Sterling and said, hey, do you think this would be very good and as a scent? And he was like, thanks for the suggestion, but I don't think we're going to do that right now, which is fine. You know, I don't have a problem with that. But, uh, Jake heard and he, uh, he did. I don't, I don't know yet if he's going to release this soap or just, you know, did it for me if it was the one off. Um, I might try to convince him to market it. I know other, whoa, that was too much water maybe. I know a few other people anyway are interested in it, but he's got to, you know, be able to sell it. So I've talked to plenty of people who don't like black licorice scent talked to someone today, in fact, who uh, said it makes some gag, so it's not for everybody. Alright. It's pretty yogurty. This soap can take, I've, I've added a ton of water now to this. It can take a ton of water. I actually might dip the tips and just do a little bit more water. Whoop. All right. When it starts flying off the brush, I think that's indicating something. All right. Just rinse the hands off. Dry them off. Actually, I need to clean that up a bit. Put that back on the brush there. Even the goatee, of course. Track season, I've got time for shaving that. <laughs> Even during spring break, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, not to mention, I'm not very good with this anyway. All right, here we go. Let's see. Find where I'm at there. Under all that lather. All right. I've got a Voshkod blade. I can do that. Cause it's a... And it's doing really well. I've actually never put a Voshkod in a Chevette. It's doing really well. I like that. It's been a long time since I've broken this out. All right. I've watched some pretty speedy straight razor shaves lately there's been a Facebook trend <laughs> lately where people have been doing that quick as they can Ooh, might have got myself there I will not soon be doing that <laughs> as you can tell I need to kind of take my time Especially on this off, off side. I have a really hard time seeing what I'm doing over there. Well, you know what I did? Got myself.
Not really a surprising thing. All right. Might have got myself again just there. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that's one pass. Good. Let's uh, give me a second. I've got lots of hair in the sink. We'll come back in just a second. All right. Let's do pass two. All right. Just making sure I wasn't bleeding out. I didn't put any styptic or anything on it, and it seems to be doing fine. Um, the knot that used to be in this brush. So story behind this brush, I actually won it in a giveaway. Milton over at Turn and Shave did a giveaway and and uh, this brush was a custom. So I gave him the colors and said, uh, and that's pretty much it. I told him I like tall handles because I have, you know, bigger hands. But other than that, I, I left it up to him because I had said I'd never seen a brush of his that I was like, ooh, I don't like that brush. So I was pretty safe in saying, do whatever you like with it. Um, but I did ask him for a ghost knot. I actually have it right here. Um, because I'd never tried one. And I tried it in that brush and I realized, you know what? Not a huge fan of that, actually. And so I decided it's time. I was never using the brush. And it's beautiful. And so I decided it was probably because of the knot that was in it. See, this is where I kind of get hung up. Ooh. And these other passes. Just... Yeah, when I saw, man, the one that blew my mind was Russell Barton just cruising around with that straight razor. Man, I'm, I've got a long way to go till I'm there. I'm just going to go up. I know why I got myself while I was paused and checking it out. I got a little bit of a bump there from something like an ingrown hair or something. Not that I wouldn't have just cut myself anyway, because I'm sure I wouldn't put it past me to do that either. He just like, man, Russell just cruised around. But for me, I'm like, I can't even figure out how to. <laughs> Hold the dang thing. <laughs> you guys are probably like cracking your head heads off. Also, I feel like, because I did shave with a straight razor the other day, and I feel like I'm a little more ease, at ease 
with the straight razor. I need to remember to pull my skin tight too. All right, we'll call that good for pass two. <laughs> if you guys are still watching, we'll uh, we'll go to pass three. I'm having fun, so I'm just gonna keep keep on going. I'm gonna add a little more water for this pass. There's tons of soap in the brush, but I don't know if I want a ton more soap because then the water won't work. Won't thin it down. I've been told to use lots of water. With a straight razor. For people who have more experience than I do. Okay. We're going to go This is definitely the best. See, I don't know how to go this direction right on my jawline. Does anyone know how to do that? <laughs> Let me know, because I can't figure that one out. Maybe if I, no, I don't know. I definitely got myself there too on my neck. Well, that's about as smooth as you get. Something's going right. That's how I'm going to do it. Alright, well, this is actually, for how painful that was for you guys to watch probably, that was probably the first straight razor shave that I don't need to pick up anything with my, uh, yeah, right here, the little bump that I cut, something like that. Anyway, I don't have to pick up with a DE. Or a you know, safety razor. So I'm happy with that. Let me rinse off and I'll be back in just one second for post shave. Alright. So I did get myself a few places. Somewhere around here on my cheek was bleeding. Look at all this soap I've got all over my shirt. That's what happens when I try to face father and add lots of water to something. Um, but that did really, really well. I need to just do it more and I'll get more used to it so that I won't be quite as cringy while I do it. Okay, um, and we are going to go with Summer Break Soaps Icy Stare for the aftershave. Looking for some cold. Now this is unscented so I might do something scented over the... Ooh. Over the top of it. Now I like alcohol sting, but I clearly need to work on <laughs> my straight razor technique. Cause woo, that was a lot of pain. 
I'm gonna slap that stuff on here. That was beyond burn. <laughs> and we're also gonna add what? What are we gonna add, guys? You know what? I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna throw some of this over the top. I don't know what that will do with the icy stare, but we're gonna do it. And see now all the sting's already gone, so it didn't sting anymore. All right. It looks like those cuts. This one might still be bleeding a little bit. Throw some stick dick on there, and we'll call it good. I think the rest of them. Mm, right here too. That's where I got myself on my cheek. Maybe you can see a few more. <laughs> so, me saying that this is my most successful straight rated shave. Obviously, I've got some some work to do, right? But I'm happy with it. We had some fun with it, right? So, okay. Well, we used Tiger Tail, a Craving Shaving exclusive. Um, hopefully, it comes out. Let me know if it's something that you would like to see. Um, we used the Classic Samurai Shavette. I'll put a link in the description to these as well. And then we used a fantastic brush by Milton at Turn and Shave. Beautiful blue and silver with the Timberwolf knot from Maggards. Um, I didn't really talk much about the knot. It's a very soft knot. I set it pretty low to give it a little bit more background, back, background, a little more backbone. And it did really well. I really enjoyed it. So um, I will be using that brush more often because I really think it's fantastic. Um, all right. Well, I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in. For those of you who made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions, things you'd like me to see me use, things uh, that you'd like to see in my uh, brushes that I'm making, I am taking a little bit of a break from brush making. Uh, main thing, I'm, I'm running out of coins. I only have a couple left, so I'm being very selective with the brushes that I uh, that I put coins in right now. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Um, but it may be a while, so bear that in mind. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Craving Shaving. Hope you have a wonderful night.